Grüezi everyone, welcome back everyone, it's time to kick Cycloboo's ass at the Starlight Road. Oh, I'm just looking forward to that level. I just let's go. Let's see, point of advice, don't touch the blocks with the red moon on it, they will hurt you. Thanks for the advice. Oh, sweet. I never was a great fan of blood moons. Every time I see one, I just want to remove, destroy it, or else get rid of it. Oh man, that was a reference which I guess nobody will get what I mean. But if you got a fury, feel free to comment. Ow! If anyone gets right, he will get a big, uh, a big cookie with chocolate flakes. Yes, of course. Okay, just go on. What do you have here? We're in, apparently in space with snakes, spaceships, those. Just call them Pac Man ripoffs because they look like the enemies of Pac Man. Ow, damn it. And Blood Moons who kill me. Fuck. Oh man. I already saw this level and <coughs> I knew that it's getting hard, especially the passage after that. That's pretty easy in comparison to that which will come, what will come. Stupid ladybug. It just surprised me all of the sun, that's not fair. Ow. Yeah, stupid moons. Problem is, I can't barely see it if the block is a star or is it, or if it's a moon. Damn it! Oh, this level is great. I love it. Oh come on! But it's not as tedious as Balloon Cave 2. That is, that will be. That is and will ever be the most tedious level I've played so far. Also in comparison to other hacks. Oh. Ouch! Oh yeah, I forgot that. In this level, I don't... I guess it's because of the music. Every time when I load at some passages of the music, then it will make this wonderful so sound. Oh yeah, that's logic. Hey, lava in space. I mean, from where com from where comes this lava? Do you ever saw? Do you, did you ever see a volcano in space? Okay, I'm not. I never was in space, but I never saw one through a telescope or anywhere else. But okay, I won't tell. I won't say anything. It's just video game logic again. But anyway, did you think about? Did you think about as he made this passage? I mean. Really, lava in space. I mean, it's, it's just weird. Just let it be. Oh, great. Ah, my nose is running again. Woo, halfway through. Oh, wait. And that's the that's the stupidest passage of, of the whole level, I mean. A swimming passage in space. Wonderful. I wonder where the, where they get this the water. I mean water in space, yeah, that's pure logic. And this stingy things doesn't make it easier. Stalking spinny things and of course a big flood of blood moons. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. <sighs> I'm bouncing sting stingy things again. This pro this level is of course no problem for me with my bad swimming skills. Okay, I should 
I should use the trick by holding down while swimming so I can swim a little bit more accurate. Yes, like that. Hey, it works pretty proper. Oh no. Oh yeah, here. This is insane, goddamn. Hey, without dying. Jesus Christ, this works pretty great. Oh. I should just, I should just, should use that a little bit more. <laughs> okay, that's the last passage of the game, uh, of the level, not of the game. And hey, wonderful! Jumping from block to block, isn't isn't it that isn't that great? Of course, it's great. No, it's just a pain in the ass. I mean, without save states, if you're falling down, just... Hmm. I should use the flames of... Whoops. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. It's just... Tedious. Okay, but it's more or less working. I mean, it isn't so bad as it looks. If you have presses jumping, like more or less like me, so this is pretty. This is pretty tricky passage, but oh uh, what? What the hell? Why you turn around? Ah yes, the sound, the sound box. And why you turn? You suddenly turned around. What? The, what the hell? Or do they? Do those enemies follow you? I mean, normally I, I just thought that they normally walk from A to A to B and then back. Not that they fought. Usually they don't follow me, but those apparently do follow me, which is pretty sucky. Yeah, great. Hmm. You can't hit me. Oh, what a pile of bones. Ah, oh, I forgot there's an, an additional passage, but this one isn't that bad as far as I remember. Yeah, just forgot those hidden, hidden bullet launchers. Ow, damn it. That's really great for your ears. Just... I just should, should stop and stop when I when I'm saving. But no, I'm too lazy for that. I just have to stand through those ear pain. <laughs> at least I have, at least I have a headphone for cover. Ah, uh, forgot you. No, this passage isn't that bad. There's a launcher. Yep, I knew it. Those, yeah, what are they supposed to be? Those things up down there are sometimes, sometimes bullet bill launchers. Yep. Come on, a little bit faster. I'm running out of time. I don't want to split that level in two videos. I'm not in the mood for that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, and I'm through. Don't ask me what that's supposed to be. Well, I guess it's... It has to be Cycloboo. Because... It's pretty disturbing. I mean, look where this level point is. I'm apparently in Cycloboo in that level. And I enter Cycloboo through his... Well, through his back door, or just through his through his asshole. If ghosts have assholes, but it's pretty disturbing. I mean, I, I just I guess I'm gonna ask the the, ma ma uh, the author of the hack of if he really makes that on purpose that it looks like you enter cycle boo through his asshole. But anyway, I'm gonna explore cycle boos. 
Cycle Vu um, at the, in the next episode of Let's Play the Second Reality Project version 1.2. I'm your host, Sweet Gosh, Mohit Au revoir.